Fashion chances with that, and you win. You know, oh, right. Man. I thought it was a bit of a fashion chance, Yeah, too. but you're, it's winning now. That's oh, cool. Right. Yeah, that's very cool. How are you? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. How's it going? We rolling? Fox. Sean, Fox, Kansas City. 2017, baby. Yeah, you guys are starting it's it on. off right, though. But that's you, right. you threw this little thing in there that I'm kind of confused about. Final? I really? know. I think so. I really think so. You know, when I read this script, I really felt like Paul tied up a lot of the questions. And... This is the best of them all. I don't know how we would outdo this one. You know, I mean, we all flew down to Cape Town, South Africa. You know, the elements down there are so intense. The wind was whipping, the sun is so extreme. And we, I mean, we, this was a challenging shoot. We gave it our all. And I think that you can see it in the movie. All right, you sound extremely proud about it. And yeah. you mentioned you guys went down to Cape Town, South Africa, which yeah. is, sounds really cool. Yeah. So what did you get, before we talk movie, did you get to experience any of the city before you were hard at work? Shooting. I did, I did, and we were up in Johannesburg shooting at these Ponte Towers, which was a really crazy experience because there was no, there, there wasn't supposed to be that many people living there, but there were still people living in it, and they didn't want us there, and they were throwing tables out the windows, and we had to wear hard hats to get to the bathroom. I mean, it was wild, wild west. It was no joke. But it paid off in the end because it, it looks incredible. I mean, th yes. that locale. Well, it's palpable. You can feel it in this movie, and you know, we also did seven weeks of nights, so. I never slept, you know? And so when you're just like going, going, going and running through the night, I chipped a tooth, I got sick, you know, we're swimming through swamps. And then there's Paul, bloodier, dirtier. And we just, we went for it. Well, the thing that's really cool, especially about this franchise, because, you know, here recently, everyone's been talking about, like, girl yeah. power on film and women are doing bigger and bolder right. things. But this franchise has always let the ladies do that. That's right. Since day one. That's right. So when I first signed on to this, it was 10 years ago. Um, and as Claire Redfield, one of the things that I was excited about is that I was coming into this female-led franchise. And that over the years, they've continued that. They didn't bring in another guy. You know, they kept me in this role. And not only that, they didn't pit us against each other. You know, we're so often, you would see women, you know, trying to break each other down. And that's not that. We lift each other up. And there's something that, you know, like very empowering about that. This is a, definitely a female empowerment franchise right and it's never backed down from that never. which is cool and very gutsy at the same time I agree it never I think that the key to its success is that it never does change that much you know what they started off was really a gem and that's what makes it a fan favorite you know this is not a critics darling this is a fan favorite and this is who it's for right and you need movies like that sometimes yeah. I mean, because that's what makes it fun I agree. right now another thing speaking of fun is because you guys have made so many movies together yeah. what was that atmosphere like on the set Incredible. So we have a really natural chemistry. Um, you know, we're both women who have a really strong work ethic. You know, you show up at work and we are excited about the stunt training. We're excited about the gun training. Um, and we also then, you know, you yell cut. We had our babies there. She had like a five month old. I had a six month old baby. And, you know, we're there like cuddling them and, you know, taking our time with them. And then we're like, okay, time to get strapped. Whoosh. You know, and you put it on. I put on that red leather jacket, and off I am to kick ass again. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that's really, really cool. It's sort of like a family affair. Now, yeah. since you're really hinting that this is going to be the final chapter, yeah. what's going to be the one walk away? When, when, when you think back on all the hard work and all the different movies that you've made in this franchise, what's the one thing that's going to stick out the most? I think I'm actually, I'm really proud that I am in this female empowerment franchise. You know, that really the fans have loved, and that's something that I can be really proud of. Well, congratulations. Job Thank well you. done. Great to kick ass. Cheers. Yeah. Thanks so much, Love man. Love enthusiasm. And Thank you.